Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to paint whiskers and longer fine lines in acrylics. Now the brush that I'm using here is just a smaller liner shaped brush and this here is going to enable me to create those nice long but fine lines. Now when using a brush like this there does require some preparation and technique to get these brush strokes looking as thin as what I've got here. Now the first thing is you can notice that I'm not holding it right up close to the bristles. I'm making sure that I'm an inch and a half or so away from those so that I can get better purchase on the brush and more of an angle with the way that I'm moving my fingers. Now with any brush that we use, how we hold that brush is going to affect the brush stroke. So it doesn't matter if it's a liner brush or a filbert or a round. We're going to be able to create a variation in brush strokes just using one brush. Now one really important factor when working with any brush is the amount of pressure to apply during that brush stroke. You can see here that the bristles of my liner brush are barely bending in the centre. This here is showing that it's just enough for that brush to glide over the surface. The more pressure I apply, the thicker my line is going to be. Now something else that will affect the thickness of that line is getting the mixture of paint versus water correct. So if you have too much paint loaded on a liner brush, the beginning of that brush stroke is going to be thicker and potentially have start and stop points. You need to have enough water in that mixture in, or, in order for that paint to flow seamlessly off of the brush. If you have too much water, the opposite will happen and your brush stroke will be more transparent and potentially have a little bit more of a water droplet at the beginning or end of that brush stroke. So there you would need to add more paint to thicken that up. So I've taken this section for today's YouTube video from the real-time Patreon version and with that I've got a voiceover while I'm painting so I'm able to explain to my Patreon members exactly how to use that brush, whether or not I need to apply more paint, whether or not I need to add more water and so on. So if you would like to see this rabbit tutorial from start to finish, as I say all in real time, no sections sped up or cut out, then I will link my Patreon in the description below. So continuing on here with the technique that I'm using, the one biggest tip that I would give anybody for painting whiskers on any animal is make sure that they don't all look symmetrical. You need to make sure that there is a variation in the length, also slightly in the thickness as well because some are going to be a little bit thinner than others, and that they are curving in slightly different directions and that they aren't straight lines. You can see that in the centre of each of those whiskers it does bow a little bit and that's helping to give it a natural form. Now one big tip that I would recommend to do when painting any long fine lines is to wipe off the tip of that brush once you've reloaded it with paint either on a paper towel or to the side of your painting. I'm using a little bit of MDF board that my panel is secured to. That there enables me on the right hand side there you can just about see a few of my white short brush strokes where I am swiping on that spare bit of MDF to get rid of the bulk of that paint. You just saw me create it there. What this enables is that the line is not going to be really thick with a load of paint at the beginning of that whisker. Now that is typically what we want to avoid because in this situation the whiskers of the rabbits are super fine. So you may have some animals like tigers for instance where the whisker is thicker as it leaves the face and then gets thinner at the end. That's going to be the general shape for every whisker but the thickness closest up to the skin will vary from animal to animal. But in this situation, when you want the whisker to be really fine at the base as well as the tip of the whisker, then removing the excess paint from your brush can really help to make that much easier. Now a liner brush is one of those brushes where I would recommend if you're new to creating really long fine lines that it can pay to have a bit of an experiment and practice on standard watercolour paper just with black paint so you can really get a feel for how those brushes work. Once we've worked out how much of paint versus water is required in order to create these fine lines, that there's going to make it easier for us to then create those on our actual paintings. Now something that can happen is if you don't have enough water in that mixture, your line will end up very short or you'll end up with it staggering. So if you go to create a longer brush stroke, you can end up with gaps in between those longer individual brush strokes and that's because the mixture is too dry or too thick. So you'll need to thin that down with a little bit more water. By doing that, you should then fix that problem and you'll be able to create longer continuous lines as I've got here. 
So what I'm doing here is for some of these whiskers where they looked like they were a little bit brighter, catching more of that light, I wanted to make that visible in my painting. So I'm having to then paint over some existing whiskers. Now this does take quite a lot of precision and care, so I would recommend here to go back to the watercolour paper and just get used to painting over your existing lines, getting that control of that brush and most importantly maintaining that nice light pressure. Here as you can see, because I'm now doing two layers, one over the top of an existing whisker, that's making that whisker underneath look brighter. Now this is going to be more of the, the case when you're working on a darker background as I am here because where we are thinning that mixture with more water that paint is going to be a little bit more transparent. So if you do want those whiskers being a bit brighter, overlapping the brush strokes here works really well. So I do hope the tips and techniques that I've shared in this video have been useful. If you've got any questions about using a liner brush or painting really fine lines like this, then feel free to pop them in the comments below and I'm more than happy to help if I can. As I've mentioned, if you would like to paint along to the real time version of this, it is available on Patreon now and I'll link that in the description below if it's of interest. I upload two to three videos to YouTube every week, so if you would like to get notified of that content, then hit the subscribe and the bell button. If you did find this video useful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and a thumbs up because it makes a huge difference to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching.